Simone, Your Excellency Giovanni Fabilli, the Italian Ambassador and his speaker, representatives from the German Embassy, the European Union Delegate, Ms. Maria Luisa from Gosso, representatives of our fathers from the Diocese of Sognani and Tichman, and the National Catholic Secretariat, representative from IOM, American Queen Mother, Ministry of Social Welfare, Children, Gender and Social Protection, representative from the GIS, CID, Director of Migration, Ghana Prison Services, IMEDU Foundation, Anti-Human Trafficking, DC Sunyani West District, AGI Journalist, Chris Radio, MCE in Koranza North, Bereka Municipality, Salishians and members of the Salishian family and PDO, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is with heart full of affection and appreciation that I welcome each of you on behalf of the Salishians of Don Bosco and this Orendariato Internationale per lo Sviluppo in Ghana. To this migration round table, the stakeholders platform against irregular migration and human trafficking. We the Salishians of Don Bosco is an international organization collaborating with the church and the state in educating the youth to become authentic believers and responsible citizens. To promote the benefits and minimize the cost of internal and international migration through legal means with the rights and security of migrants well respected in order to ensure socioeconomic development in Ghana. That is the overarching, uh, that is the main goal of the policy. Whilst we think that migration can be used as a tool to promote development, or there is a, a nexus between migration and development, we also need to minimize the cost because people uh, go through a whole lot too uh, in the name of migration and then they end up losing uh, their lives as well. The overarching objective is to promote a comprehensive and sustainable approach to migration management, which will enhance potential of, the, of migration for Ghana's development. Comprehensive and sustainable approach. We don't need a piecemeal approach. We need a comprehensive approach. We identify the various institutions. We identify the way we can face migration within intra-regional and international. We as solutions work with young people because we very strongly believe in the value of every person, the possibility of a different and better world, and above all, in the universal importance of education of young people. New directions are urgently required in the context of globalization. There's a Chinese proverb that says, when the winds of change blow, some build walls, others build windmills. The wind is blowing. Are we in Ghana building walls or build, building windmills? So IOM, um, for the past few decades, has been doing return and reintegration um, in over 100 countries across the globe. But it has always been done in a piecemeal type of approach um, at the request of the host governments and mainly European governments. So this is a different approach where we're trying to um, have a more um, holistic and uh, approach to return and reintegration. So there are many ways uh, to, to address the root causes of, of migration because at the end of the day, it's about poverty, it's about not finding opportunities. Uh, it is up to us in the government sector to create uh, the, the occasions, to create the level playing field, and, um, and, and, and that, is very, that is very important. So again, uh, addressing the root causes and making people aware of what the real situation is. The 
human project had a, in mind to contribute to the government of Ghana's efforts in managing migration more efficiently. And so, as uh, a project, there were a number of uh, strategies that were put in place, but what necessitated the three arms that the project came with were some research that was done in the country, and these were done through uh, strategic assessments. Yeah. So we have the main causes of uh, migration in Ghana, and so we wanted to see what GEMA can bring on board to help in, in solving these pro uh, problems. Poverty was the very first one, and then unemployment was the next. Farming, and also with this new tool, the greenhouse. Uh, it's very important this approach because uh, we, do, we, li we like the development, but we like also a good development. So uh, promoting an organic farming, promoting a tool like a greenhouse, so I can increase my income because I can crop more in greenhouse, but I will not affect the virgin forest, so I'm going to preserve the biodiversity and going to fight even the, the climate change. That's one of the causes of the, the migration in, uh, in uh, West Africa and especially in the Sahel region. I realize that my grandmother is also dressed in white and black. When you go through any sorrowful situation in the traditional setup, you will come out victorious. And then that, I am seeing that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Your suggestion that it should be even smuggling or irregular migration or trafficking should be part of the curriculum at our various schools is another good idea. Can't we still do something at our level, community level? You have the crane mothers, you have the teams, and you have all the security agencies at you. And you are to have the Migration Information Center under your district as well. I propose that you partner with us, provide a little support for us, right? And then we will go to into the community such that the message will not die. You understand me? So if we go, you have the faith-based organizations, and then we, we have control because uh, you, you liaise with them and they, uh, you're on the same platform with them. So why not? We go to the mosque, we go to the churches, we go to the communities, and then we meet everybody. Let us localize it. If we do it at the national level, always radio or what, it doesn't really have the effect. But if we have the support of the authorities, especially the um, you, as a local authority head, and then the chiefs and people, opinion leaders, it, um, research has proven that it is quite effective. So if we want to go ahead, I think that we should make it community-based, and then we will have the impact. So I suggest to you that we may have to link up and then see what we can do, even during the or after the Thank you so much.